In this Bardeen tutorial, we're going to talk about the merge text action. All this action does is combine two pieces of text. For example, if you want to create an automation that sends an email reminder to meeting participants a few minutes before, you will have a few pieces of text in the body of your email. It will have something like, hey, I'm waiting in the meeting room, and then you will need to get that string or that piece of text with the link to the meeting room so that people can join faster. So in order for you to create that message, Message, you'll need to combine two pieces of text. So let's go ahead and create this automation. So we're going to go to the builder and the first action is called uh, when event or when meeting uh, is in a few minutes. So when meeting starts in say five minutes, that's going to be our trigger. And let's click on done. And then we're going to add send an email. That's what we want to do. So let's find Gmail over here. And the action is called send email. Then here we have a few variables. We have the recipient, we have the subject line, then we're going to have the body and we're going to be using that very command that I told you about. In order for us to get the recipients uh, of the email, we need to figure out, okay, I'm going to send emails to people I'm going to be meeting with. So in order for us to do this, you can browse around the original trigger action, but it does not have the participant email addresses. For that, we're going to add another command in between, which is called find participant email addresses. Yes, this one. And uh, it's going to be finding email addresses of participants of that trigger event. All right, so there we have it. Now let's go back to Gmail and let's um, link it up to that other action. Here we have email addresses. All right, cool. Now we need to add the subject line and this is where you can actually do merge text as well. If you want to create a very unique type of subject line. For example, you can say meeting X is in five minutes. So actually, let's go ahead and do exactly this. So here's how Bardeen works and which is very important for you to, to understand. So the very top argument says that we're going to have multiple emails. So you're going to be sending multiple emails to people. But if we were to write something like uh, your meeting and then add an additional action, let's do comma, for example, and then let's say uh, the name of the meeting, it's not going to work because in this case, we're just going to be sending everybody multiple emails. So instead of sending two emails with different subject lines, we of course want to construct one string of text. So in order for us to do this, we're going to add another action over here. And this is where it comes in. It's called uh, merge uh, text, all right? Um, and then the beginning of it, it can be the subject line. Uh, let's call it um, the our meeting is coming up and then I'm going to do semicolon like this uh, and then I'm going to add a second piece of text and it's going to be the name of the meeting. So uh, at this point I'm going to click on the trigger and it's called summary. So summary is the title of the meeting. Okay, so that's that's our string and you can separate each one of those uh, different pieces of text with something. So you can separate it with, uh, for example, I'm going to click on shift and um, shift and space and then boom, there's the space character. So there's going to be the space character in between. Um, click on done and that's our subject line. Let's click on it and um, the subject line is going to be in that second action that we have over here. Cool. We can copy somebody, for example, uh, or in this case, we want to obviously construct the body of the email. In order for us to do this, we'll need to construct another string of text. And let's do merge text using text. And I can say something, uh, hey there, our meeting is coming up in five minutes. Just wanted to share the link for your convenience. Okay, and then here we'll need to put in the link. We'll need to find the link. Let me see if I can find it in the trigger action. Join meeting link, so there it is. And we can also separate it with um, shift space to create a space character. Actually, let me see if I can do space character. Nope. If I do just space, oh, I can just do space right away. Okay, so separating those strings with a space, that sounds good to me. And finally, we want to map that output of that previous action to the body. And let's do action number three. Okay, just like this, done. And um, let's go ahead and 
save this automation, call it uh, meeting reminder. Save, enable it. And now we want to test this event. So I'm going to create a test meeting that's going to be in about five minutes to see how the emails look like. Demo meeting with YouTube buddies. Let's make it a meeting. And then finally want to make it in five minutes. So I'm going to put in uh, 10 50 AM. Save this. Don't send it. All right. And here we have our email with the link to join. As you can see at the top, the subject line is the name of the event, which is pretty cool. The demo example that I've picked for this tutorial is quite advanced, but there are a lot simpler use cases that you can try out. For example, here comes another one of my favorites. Say I want to search a certain website automatically with a shortcut, or you can even search multiple websites. So uh, let's try searching uh, Google, for example. And then when we search Google, I want to search for, uh, let's do uh, puppies. All right. so. What we want to do is we want to search Google in our case with a very simple shortcut. So the way this URL is constructed is pretty simple actually. We have uh, this fixed part that says google.com forward slash search question mark query. And then we have uh, the query itself. So in our case, it's puppies. So if you want to construct this type of URL and then open it, then you will be able to search this website or multiple websites very easily. And this is where we would use merge text command. So let's open Bardeen one more time. And here let's do merge uh, text. And then the first part is going to be a fixed input. So this is going to be a link. And then the second part is going to be our query. But I want to show you something else. If we search for multiple words, for example, big puppies, then we have this plus in between. In order for us to make an automation that actually generates the link that is going to be searchable, we'll need to do URL encoding. It just takes a bunch of text and turns it into thing that looks like this. So let's add an action before and let's call it a URL encode. And the command is called convert text to URL encoded string. And this is where we're going to specify our query. Let's go. Click on done. And then in merge text, we're going to link to that previous action. And finally, so here we're generating a link and finally want to open it. Let's do open links in text, open all links in text. And then let's open the link that was generated in this action in merge text, just like this, click on done. And let's call this um, quick Google search. Click on done. And let's click on the card and say uh, something really smart. Okay, just like this, let's run this automation. And boom, we just Googled one website. And the reason I love this automation is because you can actually search five, 10, 20 websites at once. It's amazing if you're doing research. In a few months from now, we're going to make the interface a little bit simpler. So it's a lot simpler to construct those text strings visually. If you have any more questions about how Bardeen works or want to share your super sophisticated, cool automations with Bardeen, make sure to check out our community on Slack. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Watch this video next about how to get started with Bardeen to get the most out of it.